the impatient queen. Once upon a time, in a kingdom far away, there lived a King Trevor with his lovely queen, Helia. Trevor was loved by his entire kingdom for being kind and just. But his wife was greatly despised as she was extremely impatient. You're taking too long to braid my hair. I'm sorry, Highness, but this hairstyle is quite complex. How dare you speak back to the Queen? Leave this palace at once. <laughs> oh, Helia, why did you do that? She was trying very hard. <laughs> she wasn't quick enough. You must be patient, love. At times, the Queen's impatience would ruin the peace and the poor King would hurriedly try to recover the situation. Helia, you shouldn't have spoken to the ministers that way. They were so slow with their words. They really need to speak faster. <laughs> Any faster and I wouldn't understand them. Here, Helia, I've got something you love. Lilies, my favorite. King Trevor wondered how to make his wife understand to be patient. One day he roamed about, pondering deeply about Helia. I don't understand. She was so much nicer and kinder before marrying me. Yes, she was impatient then too, but now it's just getting worse. And it seems to be getting meaner. She changed right after becoming queen. Hmm? What's that? A baby? Where did you come from? Oh, you poor thing. Let's take you home. Seriously, where is Trevor? He's been out for ages. But it's only been ten minutes. What? Did you just talk back? Helia, look, I found a baby floating in the stream. A baby? But how did... Hmm? A note. To whoever finds my baby... Please take care of her. The couple were greatly baffled, but the king adored the little child and decided to bring her up in the palace. You shall be named Leanne. Leanne was such a warm and loving child and over the years soon grew to be a lovely young woman. Oh! Dear, are you all right? Oh, I am. Thank you, Your Highness. She is so kind. Don't you think she should wear the legendary crown? Hush! If the queen hears you, she'll throw us in the dungeons. More work, less gossip, you silly girl. Indeed, there was a special crown kept in the palace. It was known that the crown would glow and grant magical powers to the person worthy of it. But it hadn't glowed for many years. This had angered the queen. One day, Leanne mischievously started to examine the entire palace. Wandering around, she came to a forbidden tower. Wow, this place sure is long. Oh, what's this huge door? She went and pushed the mysterious door with all her might. Ugh, that was so heavy. Huh? Why is there a crown here? As she stared and drew closer, the crown suddenly started to glow. She was mesmerized by it, but was too scared to touch it. I'd better tell mother and father about this. Father! Mother! I just came from the Forbidden Tower. Leanne, I told you to stay away from there. But there's a crown there, and it glows. Glows? Leanne told them all that had happened. It glowed? Oh, I'm so happy for you. I don't understand. <laughs> I'll tell you when you're a little older. While the king was ecstatic, the queen looked on angrily. That night, she snuck out of the palace and went to see a witch whom she knew. 
Madam! I know why you are here. It's because the crown has glowed, hasn't it? What do I do? Don't worry, dearie. <laughs> I've prepared this ring for you to put on your husband's finger. The magic inside will make him hate her and ruin everything she makes him touch. Helia nodded and soon left the palace. The next day, she went to her husband and slipped the ring on his finger. Oh, what's this lovely thing? Just a small gift from me. Father! Mother! King Trevor glanced at Leanne and winced. The magic had already started working, and her very voice irritated him. Leanne, speak softly. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted you to taste this cake I baked. Um, ugh, it's so salty. How could you give me something like this? What? Um, no. It tastes sweet to me. And then she lies. <laughs> the magic in the ring had caused the sweet cake to taste otherwise. In the same way, it ruined everything that Leanne gave the king and made him hate Leanne all the more. Over the days, poor Leanne would find herself ignored by the queen and hated by the king. So after a while, she would usually be alone. Maybe they're having a difficult time ruling the kingdom. I'll just stay out of their way until they feel better. On one such lovely day, she visited the room where the legendary crown lay. It's a very pretty crown. I wonder what it'll look like on me. Whoa! It's really... Huh? What's happening? I shall only be worn by the worthy. Who... Who are you? I am the legendary crown that answers whatever you wish to know. Oh, well, there's only one thing I want to know, and that's... Why are my parents so strange lately? And so the crown told Leanne everything about the magic ring and about her mother. So my father doesn't hate me. It's just a spell. But my mother is after the crown. No, it's not your mother who wants the crown, but the witch. Your mother is impatient, yes. But she was still a wonderfully kind lady. The crown told Leanne that the evil witch had used Helia's weakness against her. Thus, Helia had been under the witch's spell all these years. The witch wants to rule the kingdom through my powers. But they are too strong for her, and so she wished to control me through Helia. But how do we break the spell over Mother? The queen must break it herself by learning to be patient. Leanne thought for some time and suddenly had an idea. My mother loves lilies. Maybe if she learns to grow them and be patient with them, the spell will break. But how do I get them? Ask me and you shall receive it through my magic. Using the crown's magic, Leanne created a garden of beautiful pink lilies. Later that day, the queen passed by and saw the garden. She immediately fell in love with them and soon ordered her gardeners to take care for them. So when Leanne came to see, she was unhappy to see the helpers working in the garden and not the queen. Oh no! That's not how it's supposed to be. Luckily for Leanne, the gardeners didn't like Helia and so didn't bother to look after the lilies carefully. So when she next visited the garden, she was enraged to see some of the flowers withering. If you can't look after the lilies, then I'll do it. No one is allowed near them anymore. And to Leanne's delight, the queen was now seen working every day in the garden. It was difficult at first. 
and the witch even tried to use her powers to make Helia hate them. But Helia's love was too strong that she couldn't get angry at them ever. Being patient with the flowers soon turned her to be patient with others too. I'm sorry, Your Highness, but the, the, the soup will take time. Oh, that's all right. I've asked for a new type of soup to be made, so let him take his time. Everyone soon noticed the change in Helia and started to warm up to her. One day, Helia was sitting in the garden when Leanne came and joined her. Mother, haven't the lilies bloomed yet? Well, as long as they're healthy, they'll bloom in their own time. I can wait till then. And quite suddenly, the queen fainted. Oh, no! Mother! What happened to you? Magic crown, what's wrong with her? The spell has been broken. Now she will be fine. Just as the crown had said, the queen was completely fine the very next day. The first thing she did was to remove the ring from her husband's finger. The spell wore off immediately, but the king had memories of what had happened over the past few days. How could I have behaved that way to my sweet Leanne and Helia? I should have been more attentive. Don't blame yourself, love. It's all over now. Let's forget everything. I have something to give you. Leanne raised her crown and placed it on the queen's head. It continued to glow. Seems like both of you are worthy of the crown. I feel Leanne should have the crown. She is truly worthy, as her patience has saved us all. And so, the kingdom was a joyful place once again. The queen soon recovered and was known to be the most patient of all. The king was very happy to see this. He had banished the witch so that she would never cause trouble to his kingdom again. Leanne continued to be as sweet as ever. She taught everyone how patience is a great value and can bring about a huge change if you just learn to appreciate time and people.